All right, here we go. I'm going to review the Starbucks Blonde Espresso Roast. And I cannot read this label, but there's the QR code if you want to take a look to get the details. Or maybe you can just scan over it. Anyway, this is a high-altitude coffee, single farm uh, producer from Starbucks. And I don't really care about Starbucks uh, politics. A lot of people, oh, I don't go to Starbucks. Well, I don't really care why you don't go there. What I know is the customer service is fantastic and their beans are reasonably priced. I'm going to pause, get some water going in my vessel. So when I say vessel, I'm talking about something to heat your water up in. Now this is a percolator with no percolator on top. So I just use it to heat my water. I've had this thing like I don't even know. So put that on high. I'm going to go turn the TV off. No, that's much better. So I'm going to put that coffee away and uh, I'm going to have to seal that up better later. So I got that KitchenAid grinder uh, at Walmart. It's okay. I'm going to be honest though. And it wasn't very expensive, but um, realistically, the grinder uh, doesn't really grind all that great. It's always leaving chunks, but maybe grinders do, and I just don't know that. So uh, that's that. I'll get this coffee ground, and I'll be right back. So here's the grind, if you can see that. Uh, you know, it's pretty fluffy, and I had just about a tablespoon of beans left in my uh, coffee I bought from when Ashley. We talked about that last time. Anyway, this is decent, and then... Um, uh, anyway, it's kind of a lot of coffee, but that's how I like it. So the water's getting hot and I'll be right back. So I don't have a high pollutant, you know, ceramic cone holder, filter holder to do my pour overs. I have this Mr. Coffee Broken Coffee Pot plastic thingy. And then I use two paper filters to kind of slow the drip down. And I use a real pour over pot that I bought at a high pollutant espresso store in Olympia a long, long time ago for 60 bucks. So we got that. We got that. And uh, I got to add my coffee to the filter and I'll be back again. So there it is, quite a little bit of coffee, but I think I'll go ahead and use my uh, bigger cup that I have somewhere. It's one of those ones that comes with a little uh, thing to stir your eggs up with, a whisk and all that. You can get them like at the you know grocery outlet for a couple bucks, but it, anyway, it's a big mug. Okay, so you get the idea. You know, you put the filter or the coffee on top of the cup put it on the counter, and as soon as that water boils, uh, we'll put it in the pour pot, and we'll drizzle it over those coffee. And I just wanna say one more thing about this KitchenAid grinder. I keep a chopstick with it because it always sticks in the bottom, and I don't know if it's because the thing sucks or it's because the coffee, coffee excuse me, is actually oily and moist enough to kind of pack in there and stay down there, and I hope it is oily a little bit because I like that oil and that foam when you pour over, and we'll go over that when it's, this water's hot, and we're almost there. Okay, so uh, coffee, it turns out, according to the Starbucks employee, is actually very similar to the growing of cannabis where you have these different strains and blends where they, you know, uh, cross plants or graft and all that stuff, so... Anyway, our water is almost boiling, and I think we are just about ready to pour over our Starbucks espresso roast. High altitude with apple and pear-type flavors, according to the label, or what the lady told me that is. Okay, so it's pretty simple. I got the pour-over pot, and I got the cotton blot, and I'm just going to, like, slowly... And the first thing I'm going to do here is make sure these grounds are all saturated, which they pretty much are. And I can see that beautiful foam on top that you cannot see. That's that oil seeping up through. And this is called blooming. We're just going to let this run through. And it's going to kind of pack those grounds just a little bit. And, uh, and then we can get right back to uh, finishing the pour over. So I'm on my budget, so I, I buy uh, $30 an ounce cannabis, which by the way, actually turns out to be pretty good. And uh, if you're offended by me talking about cannabis on my channel, um, go ahead and push uh, stop and take a hike. I don't really care. This is my life. I don't have that much left after heart attacks and surgery. So I'm just living life to the fullest. That's what I'm doing. I hope you are as well. All right, we're almost there. I'm going to take a look. 
It's not like rice. You can take the lid off of this. Okay, so we got about three quarters of a cup. I can see that it's almost drained through. I'm just going to go ahead and cheat. I'm just going to pour out of the vessel. Let that sit for another minute, but I want to show you this. Man. So that's all we're doing. You have just become Mr. or Mrs. Coffee. It's that simple. All right. Back in a minute. Give that a nice taste test and we'll let you know how it, how it tastes. Okay, so here we go. There is my delicious cup of coffee. Now, I haven't tasted it yet, but you see how that worked out? Let me give it a quick swell. All right. That's a nice, strong cup of coffee. Now, when it's that hot, it's a little bitter. So that water is about 220 boiling, and about the time you get it here, it's about 170 to 180, so you can drink it. But anyway, there you go. I'm your host, Mike Daly. Peace, and thanks for tuning in to Mike Daly's YouTube channel.